Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today because I'm struggling. I've been having dreams a lot here the last few months, maybe six months of a man who I think is my soulmate Keep, keeps coming to me in different forms, but always a man, of course. In my dreams, he does not look extraterrestrial at all. Um, I do know what he really looks like and that only happened once. And I think maybe he feels that he scared me. He didn't, he really didn't. When he grabbed me, I was overjoyed, but shocked that that was actually him. He was actually floating toward me and then he grabbed me, but I was happy. And I woke up quickly or so I thought. Those dreams are increasing and he looks different in every dream. And sometimes these dreams become intimate. I won't go into detail. <laughs> I'm sure by me saying that you know what I'm talking about. All of those dreams happen often. So I'm confused about to why I'm having those dreams. One, I feel like maybe it's a sign that he's coming to me, maybe, or I, I'm a firm believer that our dreams are actually messages and or us going to other places, whether it be Earth or another planet or up in the stars, on a ship, wherever. I feel like our dreams are not actually dreams. I actually feel that it's us doing things and going places. So that can be, I don't know if he's a soul or if he is in a body, I don't know. And I know that our dreams are masked because I think if we knew, all of us knew that our dreams were not actually dreams, that we would flip out, kind of like in a hysteria maybe of nobody really telling us that, that our dreams are actuality. And so we grow up all of us thinking that they're just dreams. They're things that don't really happen. Um, I would take it for a grain of salt and that's it. I actually think her dreams are reality. Cryptid messages, all of it. I'm glad that I get to see him in my dreams, <laughs> but I would rather him be here, of course. So that makes me sad. It makes me sad that I don't remember every detail of the dreams. And being here, it's hard, but I would love to see him more. And I probably do, just don't remember. And the other thing that I'm sad about is, it's been a while since I seen an extraterrestrial. I've had entities come to me. Uh, the samurai, I think was the last one. If, if I had more after him, I can't remember because I don't write them down. And a lot of them I tend to forget. They are the most positive things in my life, as you know, because I said that many times. And they are, they are the most positive thing that I, I have. Everything in this life is difficult for me and miserable. I know I've said things like this before, don't, don't get me wrong and don't mistake that I don't sit around with a positive frame of mind because I do. I try to positively manifest things. I try to be positive in every aspect of my life. I, I try everything in positivity. So don't think I don't do that and I sit around thinking all day, my life is miserable, my life is crap because that's not what I do. But the reality is, and I know that it is, <laughs> but I still go around thinking today's going to be a great day. All positive things are going to happen for me today. Um, I will receive all things in greatness and gratitude. You know, every day I try that every day, but there's nothing like your starseed family coming to see you. And when they don't do that for a certain length of time, I get I get down emotionally and and they know this, so I don't know why they don't come and see me to 
fix me <laughs> mentally as you know making me happy and also don't get me wrong I'm happy um, until the energy skyrockets then I'm not happy I go down miserably also being who I am out on my landing porch thing of uh, my second story apartments there's a pillar and it's right in front of my window and I've been watching these birds build a nest and the last time there was a big nest on one of those pillars maintenance took it down I was told it was a fire hazard and how that is a fire hazard hazard makes no sense there's nothing in those nests that's going to spark a fire and if this building is on fire the building is more of a fire risk than the nest but I can't help but think every day that the maintenance is going to come and take it down and that upsets me because of who I am I'm not sitting here saying that I, I don't even know how to explain how I feel I know how I feel but I don't know how to explain it but what I see is these birds are building the nest to lay their babies in and then sit on, of course, until they hatch. My thought process goes this far as in who's to say that the very day that they're going to lay their eggs is the day that maintenance takes the nest down. Where do the birds go then to lay their eggs? How do they feel about that? And where, I mean, where, where are they going to lay these eggs? That makes no sense. And who's to say that they lay the eggs and maintenance takes the whole thing, eggs and nest, and take it, throw it in the trash. And you're going to sit and think, most of you, oh, they're just birds. Well, they are. They're birds, but they have feelings. They have a soul. They're smart. I mean, how do they know? Oh, I'm pregnant. And we, we don't have that ability until we start showing our body starts doing weird things. How do they know that they're pregnant to build that nest? How do they know that the nest is to lay their eggs in? How do they know that they're supposed to sit on these eggs until it hatches? Did somebody tell them and they completely understood? No. <laughs> we don't go out to birds and say, you're pregnant because we don't know. And you're now to lay, I mean, ha and now you're to create a nest out of anything you can find, lay your eggs and sit on them. That doesn't happen, of course. So every day I check and make sure that the nest is still there. And I really hope that maintenance isn't that cool to take it away. So back to my soulmate and every dream that I've had of him and you know, dream, every time I say dream, you know, know that I'm referring to the real deal, of course, because that's my belief. And you're perfectly entitled to believe what you believe that dreams are. That's perfectly okay. I'm not going to say you're wrong. And hopefully you're not saying I'm wrong. It's just something that I believe. And if I'm wrong, then I will find out one day. But this is how I feel. <laughs> um, in every dream, but that one where he grabbed me and I woke up. In every other dream, he's a different man. And every one of these dreams, I cannot see his face. I've seen his hair that goes around his face. It's been different colors, different lengths. And I see the last dream I had, I seen the back of his head. And we embraced and I remember that. And it was, it was magnificent. It was the best hug I've ever had. It was, he embraced me in such a way that I felt safe loved and secure. I mean, I don't think I've ever felt a hug like that here. But he he had his back to a dresser in my dream and I had a mirror on the dresser. And I grabbed him and got real close to him and wrapped my arms around his shoulders. And I looked in the mirror and saw the back of his head. And I remember smiling, thinking, I see him. Of course, I didn't look in the mirror to see myself. I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. But it's very strange that a lot of people that are in my dreams, I don't see a lot of their faces. And some I do, actually. I, I cannot wait for the day for me to be there with him once again. And when I leave Earth, 
I have to word it like that on YouTube. I hope that he's not already incarnated somewhere because I want to see him. I want to feel him and touch him. But if he is, that's okay. Nothing has changed. I will wait for him. But I, I really wish and hope that my next incarnation will also be his and that we meet in that lifetime and that we can be happy. And I hope when that time comes, it's on a different planet, not Earth, unless Earth has evolved greatly. And I mean greatly. I don't want to come back. But I want he and I to be happy. I've hypnotized quite a bit of people. And those people that were I have taken back and they were on a different planet. They're so happy and they're so loved and they're grinning in trance. They're grinning and when they have passed in drastic circumstances, they become really sad. And when I talk to their spirit, their higher self, they will say that they were so happy and it was a love that they never felt here. And, and that's drastic. That's a lot of love. Being here 54 years and not feeling that kind of love is miserable because deep down in my soul, I know what it feels like. I'm seeing orbs, really itty bitty tiny orbs going all over the place. I don't know if you see them or not on camera. Um, but yeah, I, I still see orbs and rods. Been a while for anything else. The last the last entity I seen was the samurai. That wasn't too long ago. And I don't mind seeing the other entities at all. And I'm glad, I guess, but I'd rather see my star family. And I know they're around. And if they're not around, I know they hear me. I love you guys tremendously. Thank you for sticking around, all eight to 10 of you. <laughs> I appreciate that you're st staying around and watching me. And I do appreciate your friendship and your commitment to my channel means the world to me. I hope you know that because I don't lie. I don't lie. I did as a kid. But growing up as an adult, I realized I just, I can't. That's not who I am. So yeah, know that I love you. So I'm going to end this here. And I'm going to send everybody love, light, and peace. Bye.